The slothful man roasteth not that which he took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. Hey, the lazy guy goes out and he, he does the fun stuff, right? He sits in the deer stand, he waits. Oh, deer. All right, got him, cool. Nah, you know what? I don't really want to drag him half a mile to the truck. I'm just gonna leave him here, right? Because dragging a deer through the woods for half a mile, you know, the bigger the deer, the better the hunt, the worse the, the end is, right? You got your reward there, you got to have fun, but now you gotta work, okay? And the slothful doesn't roast that which he, he killed in hunting. And I make this comparison, and this is where the rubber meets the road for us, okay? I make that comparison to, we are fishers of men, okay? And we go out and we get to do the fun stuff. We get to go out and we get to find the places where the fish are biting, yeah. where people are willing to listen to us and we can give them the gospel, yeah. right? And then somebody gets saved. We're like, yes, got it. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna leave him right there on the, on the dock and I'm gonna let that fish just rot, okay? That's a good point. Or do we put aside the laziness do we put that aside and we say, you know what? I'm gonna take this man that I just got, yeah. or woman that I just got, and I'm gonna prepare him. I'm gonna prepare him to serve the Lord. I'm gonna prepare him uh, to add to his faith. Yeah. I'm gonna prepare him to be a productive Christian, right? right? To be a, a tree that's gonna bear much fruit. Are we gonna do that or are we just gonna do the exciting stuff and then leave the hard work, because uh, discipling's not easy, okay? You gotta go back, you gotta work, you gotta try that. And I know that we've been encouraged to do that, we've been encouraged to disciple, and I really, I know I've dropped the ball in, in the past, and I'd like to see all of us not drop the ball and do the best we can uh, to prepare those that we've, that we've won to be productive uh, Christians to be fishers of men ourselves and I like to encourage everyone to do that and not to be lazy in God's work and uh, just to apply uh, what God's given us to do.